Welcome to the Trading with Venus podcast, where we help you establish strong trading habits, generate consistent profits, and create the lifestyle you desire for yourself and your family. Now your host, Raman Gill. Welcome to Trading with Venus podcast, episode 20. I'm your host, Raman Gill. Today, I have the pleasure of welcoming our special guest, Nenad Karkas, to the show. Nenad is an analyst and trader who has been in the market since 2008 and works very closely with Admiral Markets as their senior lecturer and market analyst. He is well known in the FX community as one of the most prominent contributors for FX3.com and the author of a very popular thread on Forex Factory, Spider's Den. His trademark has been the extremely accurate and pre-fact analysis. Nenet is also the co-founder and head of Elite Currency Trading, an educational website for currency traders. Nenet, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with us today. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Raman, and I'm very glad to meet you, finally. Yes. So let's start things off by letting – can you tell us a bit about yourself personally and also what you do in your trading life? Well, I can. Why not? So basically, I'm an analyst and trader, and I've been in the market since 2008. And I work closely with Admiral Markets as their senior lecturer and market analyst. Well, uh, I'm, I can say, well known in Forex community. I was ranking in the top 10 traders and analysts in the Forex Factory High Impact members on their website, and my profile there has had over 4 million visits so far. I usually cover over 25 currencies on an intraday basis, and uh, what I would do in future, probably I would also cover stock and indices. I have a master's in economic, economy. Uh, I also developed Camarilla MACD. It's my proprietary analysis and trading strategy. I also developed uh, HARP, which stands for Haken Ashi Range Price a unique way to trade the market with combination of Haken Ashi and uh, range bars. I'm also a head and co-founder of Elite Currency Trading. It's an educational website for currency traders. Uh, I can also say that I have started to post on Forex Factory under the name Tarantula, and uh, soon I was employed by a UK firm. It was a firm uh, which uh, basically was trading the accounts, uh, clients' accounts back in days. And I first started to trade the retail accounts, and after a while, then I started to trade on institutional accounts. In the year of 2013, I started to work with Admiral Markets, and currently, as I said, I'm a senior analyst and a lecturer. I also hold educational webinars with Admiral Markets and Forex Street. Uh, as for webinars and analysis, I always do pre-fact analysis, which can be heard live on Session Recap webinars. So I invite all traders to visit Session Recap webinars. It's always free pips. And uh, it's always very clear and concise. You can also read my analysis on Forex Street. Uh, it's a very famous website for Forex trading. I also post in weekly poll. Uh, as I also say, I'm, I'm a head and co-founder of uh, Elite Currency website. We offer courses, free gifts, and we have a really unique approach in Forex trading. I work with my colleague, Chris Swarzik, who is also uh, a master wave analyst for Admiral Markets. Uh, I also wanted to say that... Uh, Someone may ask why Admiral Markets, because uh, Admiral Markets really is an excellent uh, brokerage. It made a fantastic breakthrough in trading industry, and recently it has won UK award uh, for best MT4 broker. And it's very important, it's uh, FCA regulated, uh, which is really the strongest of all regulation in European Union. Now, competition was fierce at the London-based award ceremony. Uh, where countries top forex brokers met uh, in a 600 year old crypt to vote for a unique MT4 Supreme package. And that MT4 Supreme package is uh, excellent. It's an excellent package for all MT4 traders. So, UK CEO Mr. Ryan Rogers attended the ceremony. So, basically, we won that award and I'm really proud to be a part of a winning team. And uh, also, I do trade with Admiral Markets. So, 
I always pause the analysis with my platform with MT4 tools. So I, I guess it's it's very important for traders to know that it's full ECN, and we always know that ECN wins always wins over over other forms of brokerage. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Nanut, for that. Mm -hmm. Now, tell us a bit on, on the personal side, how did you first get into trading? Well, I, as I said, I've been in economy for a long time. Uh, I also worked for investment funds in marketing sector. I was not trading, basically. I worked in marketing sec sector of investment fund. And uh, that was uh, back uh, in 2004, 2005. And then I had heard about Forex market, and I started to get a bit deeper insight into the matter. Now, during my day job, I was really trying to constantly monitor the market. Uh, now, what I did is when boss kicked in the room, uh, I pressed alt, alt windows to minimize the screen. So basically, I was hiding from my boss back in days. <laughs> well, I needed to do that because it was eight hours screening, 24-5. But I instantly fell in love. And then I used my free weekends, weekends to uh, dig deeper and deeper. And I was really dreaming about price action. And two years later, uh, I started to post some Forex Factory under the name Tarantula. I had my own Frankie Fake. It's a Frankfurt Fake Out trading system. And uh, it produced a great signals on Euro-Dollar trend. And then I was instantly recognized by top traders of the forum back in days. And then after a while, I opened my Spider's Den trend, which has had more, as I said, than, than five, 4 million visits so far. Then I was spotted by... Uh, by the uh, chief CEO of, uh, basically, a uh, chief person of UK trading firm. And uh, I was engaged to work with them. And then I also started to work with, with uh, basically, with trading institutional accounts. And that was about me. How did I get to trading? So let's cut into the chase. I was, I was working on my day job in an investment fund company. And then I was instantly fell in love and I was really, really working hard to to master this this beautiful, beautiful job. So while you were going through that process, was there a time when you actually felt like you had failed in trading? Um, I, I find a lot of people get into trading, it's very exciting and then something happens that they get into the market and, and you get you know, they start losing trade. So did you have a time like that when you actually felt that you had failed? And how did you get past that? Well, of course, uh, you know, the old adage, what doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. And, uh, well, yes, winning is fun. <laughs> well, losing is something is more fun because you need to learn from your mistakes. And uh, I have learned all from my personal mistakes and mistakes of my team I was working with. The hardest moment was basically over trading to make up for account loss. There was a client who made a deposit of 20k GBP pounds and we made it double in five days uh, just to lose 90% of the profit in 15 minutes. So that account was almost lost as we over traded. And that was basically the time when I finally figured it out that a long-term success is to trade as institutions do. So low risk and proper money management will always keep you safe. We need to keep the risk low. Uh, all else is telltale and stories for good night. And I also have proofs for my claims. I have uh, their account statement where it's easily we can easily see from that account, how it went up in a matter of days and it went down in a matter of minutes. But uh, that, 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 that's not the proper way to trade. Uh, retail traders need to know one simple truth in Forex market. You cannot be a millionaire overnight. Okay? It's only a string of immensely huge lady luck, but that probably will not happen. You need to trade as banks trade. You need to, a uh, retail herd is, is a retail herd. Uh, if you want to get over it, you need to be above the average. You need to be over the top. So you need to work and, as institutions do. Because successful trading is always based on a profitable trading strategy, uh, proper risk management, and trading psychology. Now, the biggest uh, problem is that traders substitute the third thing 
or the second thing for, for the first thing. They want to make profits first and safeguard their accounts after. No, it cannot, it cannot work like that. Because you need to have that, I always call it a tripod of successful trading. Trading strategy which is profitable, risk management, and trading psychology. If one fail, everything will fall apart. One leg only. Only one leg. If it fails, everything will fall apart. So that is basically uh, how well, that was my hardest moment in trading to lose. Well, that was a big mistake. And uh, I need to say that uh, uh, getting over it, uh, I can say it, it was not that hard because I know what the mistake was. Uh, my team knew what was the mistake. We assessed it. We basically sit. We had a meeting, and we decided that we will not overtrade, no matter what what uh, client wants. Uh, if a client wants to gamble, then okay, let him go to casino and gamble. We offered another deal. We offered the deal. Okay, let's make you in between average two uh, and five percent per month. Are you happy with? With it, he said he was he would be happy with 10%. We said okay, it is not possible to make every single man 10% because it will it will mean that that that's that's over gambling because as soon as you cross 5% of the risk threshold, you're in danger zone. That what what risk management sector in institutional firm always assess it. Five percent of the risk. If you cross it, you are done. Okay, it's it's over. So you cannot go hope for hundred and twenty percent per year because banks give you two percent per year. If you are able to make two percent in between two percent and five percent per month, you are twelve times better than uh, than the best bank. Okay, so. No one can tell me that it's normal to make an obligation for a client to make, I don't know, or for a trader to make 100%. That's greed. That's the, the worst in human nature. We should always respect the market because it's like chasing the shadow. If we chase the shadow, we can never reach it. Never. We need to be calm. We need to be patient. And then the shadow will come to us. It's the same with market. Chase the market. Okay. You are over. Your account is burned. Be patient. Wait for the setups. Market will come to you. Because trends are always made by big fish. We are small fish. I mean we. Retail traders, all retail traders are small fish who are effectively eating what's left behind from a big fish. Okay, we know what is the, at the top of the food chain in Forex market. It's, it's central banks. So we need to follow central banks. How do we follow it? We follow it by doing institutional trading on retail accounts. Retail accounts are accounts which are less than 100K of units. So 100K of pound, dollar, uh, whatever currency you want, it's basically an institutional account. Everything below that has a leverage, and that's a retail account. So actually, that's a that's a good thing. I'm glad you touched on that because that's something that I I find a lot of traders struggle with the returns, like the percentage of return. Um, a lot of people I find they have really small accounts um, and they're trying to double the account every month. Uh, what what are your thoughts on well, that? Well, well, it's it's actually good you asked me that because uh, first we have a liquidity factor. Okay. Uh, liquidity factor is that there are that liquidity. It means that there are a sufficient number of buyers and sellers at current prices to easily and efficiently take your trade. So, in the case of the forex market, liquidity, at least in the major currencies, is never a problem. So, the liquidity is known as market liquidity, and in the spot cash forex market, it accounts for some two trillion per day in trading volume. So, that effectively means you can always make money if you know how to make money. Now, another aspect of risk is determined by how much trading capital you have available. Risk per trade, in my opinion, should always be a small percentage of your total capital. A good starting percentage could be, let's say, 2% of your available trading capital per day. So, for example, if you have 5,000 in your account, the maximum loss allowable should, should be no more than 2%. Okay? That means that you can really, that you need really to take it 
step by step. I usually divide 2% per day for four separate trades. That makes my average risk per trade 0.5%. So basically 0.5% equals to four string of losses for a 2% loss per trade. Uh, will I make that with successful strategy? Of course not. Because 2% loss per trade would mean that you can be wrong 50 times in a row before you wipe out your account. With this kind of approach, I really need to be 200 times in a row uh, wrong before I wipe my account. That is a very unlikely scenario if you have a proper system for stacking the odds in your favor. Okay, that is very, very important thing. Okay, good question, uh, from you again because it always has to do with leverage next big factor with risk risk magnifier i can say is leverage leverage is effectively the use of bank or brokers money rather than the strict use of your own forex market is a very leveraged market because you need to put down a deposit of just thousand to actually trade hundred thousand it's called hundred to one leverage factor so one p plus in hundred to one leverage situation is equal to ten dollars a loss it's too much for small accounts because I personally know that some traders are taking full lot trades with thousand dollar account it's it's not correct trading because if if they put a stop loss of 30 pip they would loss they would lose 30 percent in a single trade so uh, the risk is what 95 percent of traders are not familiar with that is what I teach really intensively on my webinars that is what I really write a lot intensively during my price action trading school with other markets and other market analysis that is in, uh, always found in my risk disclaimer before a session recap webinar because risk per trade is what ultimately will bring you above the average John Doe trader above the average retail trader you cannot hope to double your account each single month. There is a remedy for that, which I do, and that will be uh, the answer to your next question. I have a challenge, which I have presented to myself personally. I want to uh, make from $100 account, I want to go with three stages, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000 from a simple $100 account. It can be done, but you need to take very low risks, and you need to be immensely patient for that. So far, I'm, I'm currently at 280. I have a long time to go, but uh, at least I have managed to, to, to almost triple my count, but it's extremely low risk, v extremely low risk, and uh, really a lot of patience. Last two days, I made 150 pips. I made some videos and posted it on my Elite Currency the, with my harp trades uh, this account is my challenge account and i want to prove that traders can do it i will post results if i if i do it of course if i fail well obviously i will fail if i fail i i want i will say okay it's not possible but i know that it's possible and now i'm on a good path to show traders how they can do it because if i can do it you can do it too so in terms of getting um, consistently profitable, what did you find was your biggest challenge? Well, I need to say that uh, uh, I lost huge amounts of money because no one was there to teach me uh, as I do it today. So I managed by <laughs> investing even more until I finally figured out what was the mistake. Uh, I've already answered that question, but uh, as I said, if you fail to trade with below 5% risk threshold, there will be hardly any success long run. Uh, the only thing how traders can test real skills is by opening really small account and practicing on a small account. Because demo account is just for, it's good, great, it's great, but you, you know that you cannot lose uh, real money, you know that uh, it won't affect your friends, your psychology, your wife or husband, and you're great. You can risk uh, 50% if you want and say, okay, it's great, I made 100%. Well, demo account is okay for testing the strategy. Demo account is great if you run it as a live account, which I, uh, which I have been doing. I have my own demo account, which is a signal account for... Uh, 
people who want to take my signals and for Camarilla MACD trades which I also do with uh, session recap so that's actually demo account but it's it's okay because I trade it as live account so uh, the thing is we also need to know which are which days are for trading and which days are not sometimes staying out of position is worth money it's like running a profitable position also, I don't tend to scalp too much. I stay away from strong news. And guys, low risk. Low risk with a proper trading method, uh, such as, let's say, Camarilla, MACD, Harp, is always worth the gold medal. So that is my answer. Uh, I overcome that by investing more. I lost a lot uh, in my uh, beginner trading days, but then I figure out how I, how I can be profitable, and that's what I do, it, what I do now. So actually, that is your answer, and I always say, guys, if you're not able to invest a lot, try to invest a small amount of money and uh, practice it, because you can probably live with 50 or 100 dollars loss. It's actually nothing, but it can be very costly if you go with 10k or 50k and you lose it all. So my advice for you is either invest a small amount of money and trade with 0.01. Uh, lot size, or you try to go with demo account, but treat demo as you would treat your live account. If you are able to do that, it's actually great. So in your trading journey, was there an aha moment where things actually, you felt like things clicked or they fell into place? And how did this moment shape your trading journey? Yes, it was when I started working on my Camarilla MACD. I was already using my PNT method, which was the core of price action. And Camarilla MACD was the next step in trading because I, uh, I, I found out POCs, points of confluence, X crosses, which are my own terms for trading confluence and trend line intersections, respectively. So testing Camarilla MACD lasted for a full year, and it was very successful. I did it also on live accounts, so there was uh, losses, there were wins, but ultimately it was very profitable. I even keep my uh, real account statements from that time. It's very important because that is my trademark. An accurate analysis connected to the core of price action and very occasionally with fundamental ba background. Uh, Camarilla MACD is a full technical method which incorporates all most important things in price session, including PNT, practical naked trading methods, uh, just empowered with additional price action studies such as POCs, quadrant principles, X crosses, and always important thing which sometimes I feel like I'm really the only one who, who does that it's scanning for historical versus now moment buyers and sellers. Uh, traders need to know that history always repeats itself in forex market and that's why actually forex markets are easier to analyze and trade versus indices because indices are a group of stocks and they do not show strong support and resistance as forex market does. So uh, basically that is my uh, aha moment. It's uh, uh, the invention of Camarilla MACD, the method which is always using my real account trading and my session recaps and everyday analysis with the uh, under markets and forex street was there a person a mentor who has had a tremendous impact on you as a trader and how did this person impact your life uh, i can say yes it's a simple answer there was no specific person to impact me uh, as a trader because i'm self-taught really but uh, there was one person who i must mention it's william blow uh, it, it he was a famous trader he is a creator of the true strength index and a great book called momentum direction divergence a lot of principles from william blow's book are incorporated in pnt and camarilla mcd respectively so yes momentum direction divergence by william blow and uh, uh, everything uh, uh, i know for from uh, mcd uh, indicator and uh, TSI or RSI uh, indices are basically from William's blood teaching. So he is a person uh, who maybe have the most impact in my trading. But that was, of course, that was early days. Now I have really come 
a little bit above all these things, and I I study price action a lot myself. So, but the specific person is William Blow. Momentum, direction, divergence. His book. Have you found a habit that you find really helps you become successful or contributed to your success? Yes, uh, I think I already answered that, but it's patience. It's a low risk, a low risk. It's always, it always boils down to the risk. Good method and low risk is the ultimate way to success. I can personally testify that. I can sign for that. It is it's, it's the truth in Forex trading. Having a trading plan which incorporates all previously mentioned things, we're adding to getting up early, don't, uh, not drinking alcohol while trading, uh, respecting market hours, bank holidays, no over trading, no revenge trading, no spiral of dooms, uh, being optimistic while, uh, while trading but not being euphoric while trading because euphoria is the top of the uh, market psychology, trader psychology and if you are euphoric, you are basically buying into resistance. I always show that as resistance of uh, support and resistance level. So euphoria is at the top. You never buy resistance. You always dip into and then start. It's always the same with human beings. So you need to be emotionally optimistic and hopeful, not euphoric. Because if you are euphoric, you, you will lose your trade. It will bring you to over trading. It will bring you to revenge your losses. And that is what can kill years of your profits if you're not sure what to do. So when you feel euphoric, okay, it's time to close your PC, shut it down, and go out with your friends. I find that's a, actually a really important thing that you have mentioned here. Um, I found personally for myself, my my worst trades came after a string of really, really huge wins because then you get euphoric and you enter into trades with that you, should, you have no business being in. Um, well, well, Roman, as I said, uh, just try to think now about uh, support and resistance. So try to visualize it. Support is at the bottom, resistance is at the top. Now when we visualize it, try to put uh, human emotions between support and resistance. Uh, let's say that uh, op optimistic and uh, hopeful uh, feelings are, let's say, at one third from support to resistance. So if you if you start trading from that point, you will probably exit on uh, resistance, which is euphoria, right? So just everything you do with forex market, your feeling emotions can be compared to support and resistance scale. And ultimately, ultimately, a lot of people fail not because they are bad traders. Because ultimately, there are a lot of people who can really read price action great, e excellent. But the problem is discipline. Not having a trading plan, uh, over trading, uh, as you said, trying to double up for uh, uh, accounts and account losses. It's, it's nonsense. Why are humans so greedy? I, I will never understand. But it, it's probably a human nature. It's, it's a revolutionary back step, definitely. So we need to work. Everyone has to work on himself, uh, as I did, really. And I'm still working on myself. I always listen to binaural beats. Binaural beats are a great way to calm you down, to focus you on your job. So binaural beats, uh, meditations, running, body exercises, all those things will keep you fit and ready for trading. Great. So you already mentioned a book um, that you are recommending. Is there another book or resource that you would like to recommend to our listeners? Well, not the book exactly, because uh, just by reading books, it, it can be really hard for traders to visualize how trading is. And there is no emotions while reading the books. And trading is, if I need to, let's say, if I need to pick for the most, but I say the most important thing, of all the most important things, it would be uh, risk management and money management again. And it cannot be uh, learned through books. Everyone has to feel it themselves. And then he will or she will start to believe what I'm basically teaching. If you could do your trading journey all over, knowing all that you know now, what would you do differently? Use lower risk, definitely, because almost 100% of the time, while uh, I was losing, I lost due to over-leveraging, definitely. 
because when you over leverage you usually go above 5% threshold and it's very hard to cover it later because you want to cover it fast or it takes too slow and just in a while you will put that uh, big leverage on your trade again and uh, ba basically you're, you're, you're done. So uh, I would definitely use lower risk as I do now. There would be no revenge trading and of course with that, what I know now, I would always start with Camarilla, MACD, and HARP, and definitely with those two methods, because those are my personally developed methods, and uh, I would never search for Holy Grail, because Holy Grail is within yourself. There is no Holy Grail, there is no system which is perfect, because markets are not perfect, and uh, there are some other factors which influence uh, the movement in price, so there is no system which can give you 100% of, of winning trades. That's why you as a human being need to know when to trade, when not to trade, what is your risk amount, and everything is incorporated, of course, in my teaching, and I would definitely follow it, what I, what I follow now, me and myself. That's, that's great advice. Thank you. If somebody wanted to get in touch with you, what's the best way to reach you? Uh, best way to reach me is definitely uh, Twitter. My Twitter is Twitter handle is Tarantula FX. So you can easily see me. It's Tarantula FX, always active profile. You can also reach me through my email, tarantulafx at gmail.com. Uh, Admiral Markets webinars, always, uh, always Forex Street webinars. Admiral Market Analysis, Spiders Den Forex Factory website, Elite Currency, uh, me and Chris, which are basically, we are basically uh, founders and, uh, and educators at Elite Currency also. So uh, it's the easiest way. So in, in short, my Twitter email, Admiral Markets and Elite Currency. Great, thank you. So once again, um, Nana, thank you very much for taking the time to meet with us and sharing some great insight from your past, your own trading experiences with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Raman. I, I'm very, very pleased to meet you, and I'm looking forward really to help all traders who really need help. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We were just chatting with Nanan Kirkes. Nanan shared with us some valuable lessons he has learned in his trading career steps that he took to turn things around for himself, and realistic returns we can expect from our trading. For show notes for this episode, please visit tradingwithvenus.com podcast page, episode 20. Thank you so very much for taking the time to join me on the podcast today. I look forward to chatting with you next week. If you want consistency in your trading, we invite you to join our daily market analysis calls where we provide the levels to find the best entries and targets on an intraday basis. For a one-week free trial, please visit www.tradingwithvenus.com. Thanks for joining us today. With much gratitude, your show host, Raman Gill.